Hello everyone. Welcome to Botany Insider. So, as we all know that we have our examination for the CSIR, UGC, NET, Life Sciences and all the other streams as well from 25th to 27th of July and after a month of delay we are finally having our examination so during these last few days you should be focusing upon the most most important or we can say the most expected topics of all the units right so i'll be bringing in four parts of the entire series i'll be uploading four videos simultaneously day one day after which will help you out to get to the entire uh, questions list which you should be focusing upon during these last few days before starting the video if you're new to botany insider do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also you can download our application from the ios as well as from the android application it's available on both the devices we have a number of courses running for you all the very first thing that you can take a uh, help from our end is we have started free practice test series on our application so you can download our application and every single day a free test is uploaded for you all so those of you who are preparing for the june examination this particular thing is going to help you out in addition to that if you're started or if you have started preparing for the december 2024 examination so we have started off with our full course for the december 2024 on 1st of july you can download our application and get yourself enrolled in this particular course all the units part a part b part c all type of questions everything will be dealt in in live and interactive classes of which the recordings will also be available hard copy notes will be delivered to your doorstep daily practice questions will be solved in pyq sessions will be there of like we'll target out at least 10 year papers based upon their importance regular doubt session weekly test and two of the revision cycles will also be there for the entire course right now let's begin with the entire list now all the topics that i'm going to tell you in this particular video are based upon the previous year question analysis they are all based upon what questions have been asked in last five years and the pattern accordingly right so in this class we'll be dealing with the questions for unit number one unit number two and unit number three unit one is your biochemistry unit two is your cell biology and unit three is your molecular biology in the further parts i'll bring up the questions for the other topics other units as well so when we look into the previous year analysis of unit number one and the most expected question that we can uh, have in this upcoming examination the very first question is from enzymes every single year we have received the question from enzymes topic be it from their enzyme substrate complex formation and the mechanism for the same or from your michaelis menten equation and the calculation for the same in the recent december 2023 paper there was a question asked where you were given correlation between your substrate concentration and your km and you were asked to find out the ratio of v naught upon v max right so we can easily expect a question from here as well in addition to that from the inhibitors part be it your non uh, non competitive competitive or uncompetitive inhibition from that also questions have been asked in june 2022 there was a question asked based upon the non-competitive inhibition and the statements accordingly right so remember about this the enzyme topic is very important and make sure that you're not skipping the revision of your enzyme topic because till now you must have completed the entire segment that's why i'm mentioning the revision of the same right after this the concept of proteins this particular topic was initially like uh, before five years it was not getting asked that much from the core area but now the questions 
from your proteins part have started to increase back again now the most important segment from the protein now this protein part include your amino acids as well and it includes the entire digestion or sequencing and all those things for the protein also right so from proteins as well you can expect one question in this particular year as well and from proteins also one of the most important and regularly repeated topic is the digestion of protein with the help of various different different enzymes that we have the main enzymes that you have to remember be it your pepsin or trypsin chymotrypsin or uh, cyanogen bromide so remember about all these things after that you can also get a question from the calculation part also now the calculation of your alpha helix have been get is been getting repeated a lot of times because in this you have a hydrogen bond getting formed between the first and the fifth amino acid so questions majorly get asked from whether to find out the number of hydrogen bonds or sometimes they are asking you about the they give you the number of amino acid and they ask you about the angle or they might ask you about the number of hydrogen bonds or something like that so remember about this as well so this comes under the entire structure of your protein which include primary secondary tertiary quaternary now from this quaternary structure itself you can take up one more important topic and that is your amino that is your hemoglobin from your hemoglobin topic as well questions are getting repeated a number of times if you look into the recent year papers from your hemoglobin topic questions like its digestion digestion in terms of how does the degradation of hemoglobin occur from your uh, dissociation curve also we are getting a lot of question if there occurs increase in the ph or if there occurs decrease in the ph so how will your graphical representation get changed so you get you can get a question this particular time as well in addition to that now the concept of respiration which is an overlapping topic in unit number 1 and in unit number 6 so i'll mention down all the important areas of the respiration topic in unit number 6 only in the second or the third part of this particular series itself i'll upload for unit 6 over there i'll mention for the unit 6 right in addition to that in the recent year there was a question asked related to the physical property of your solvent from which uh, uh, there were no questions asked but in the recent paper they asked about the physical properties of your solvents as well so make sure that you remember or make sure that you're not skipping about the physical dissociation or the sorry the physical properties of your solvents that is what are the various factors on which the solution is depend solutions uh, solubility is or are dependent upon right then in addition to this from your in your uh, like quaternary structure itself we also have one more protein that is your collagen from where questions are getting repeatedly asked from in there in addition you also have a concept of rama chandran plot so all these are very hot topics you can easily expect a question from these things everything that i am writing down on the screen is based upon your previous year question analysis and majorly your five year question five year paper analysis only right so these are the important areas which you have to remember amino acid proteins enzymes in proteins the entire segment of your amino acids how does the peptide bond formation occur how does various other functionality occurs every single thing is important right so make sure that you're not skipping these things because these are the most expected areas of the questions in the upcoming examination now comes unit number 2 so unit 2 is your cell biology from cell biology as well we have a number of questions we have a number of repeatedly asked questions which you have to keep a note of very very important like you can just star mark it in your uh, notes anywhere from cell cycle 
and its regulation, you will get a question, right? From cell cycles, like what's the entire cell cycle phases are and what are the various regulatory parts, be it your checkpoints, be it your various uh, other pathways in which you have G2 to M uh, transition or you have M to A transition, that is a metaphase to anaphase transition. So every single topic is very, very important. Remember about this to make that make sure that you're not skipping cell cycle at any cost. In addition to the cell cycle, there's a concept of your transposons. In last four years, every year we have received a question from transposons, either in match the following in four marker area or in part B in your theory segment. So remember about the transposone concept where they're asking you about where they deal with the classification and the various other functionalities, right? After that, the concept of endocytosis in the recent paper in December 2023, they asked about the functionality of dynamin, which is a protein that helps in pinching off of your vesicle, which is formed in your endocytosis. So they asked about the functionality of the same. So the, this makes the entire concept of your protein sorting and translocation very, very important, right? So protein sorting and translocation topic is very important. Remember this particular thing. In addition to that, the concept of your nucleosome is also very important. You get a question almost every year, be it your zigzag model, be it your uh, solenoid model, or how does or which all various stones participate in the nucleosome concept in the uh, binding of your nucleosome, binding of your uh, chromatin fibers into a chromosomal structure. So you get questions from every single area right so these are all the questions of the recent years then question from your cytoskeletons specifically from your actin treadmilling concept from this particular area in last two years consecutively we have received a question in the upcoming exam in the uh, examination in addition to that from your plasma membrane in the paper of December 2023, surprisingly, CSIR asked about the width of your plasma membrane, right? That is the thickness of your plasma membrane. CSIR usually does not go into such basic question, but out of blue and out of like complete surprise to all the students, they asked about the thickness of the plasma membrane. So, which makes this topic also very, very important right so remember various topics like cell cycle all the phases regulation part uh, transition part is very important transposons match the following type questions uh, then you have a uh, theory part if that is part b type in the part b you get a lot of theory questions as well then endocytosis we get a question we got a question recently so protein sorting and targeting is very important then nucleosome concept from nucleosome concept also we have received a question from cytoskeleton that is treadmilling and uh, actin treadmilling concept we have received a question so remember all these things they are very very important right make sure that you keep a note of all these things now comes unit number three that is your molecular biology. So in molecular biology, if you look into the previous year questions, from every segment we have received a question, most importantly from your DNA replication, right? the various proteins involved, the, the functionality of a number of inhibitors that we have. So, uh, remember that from molecular biology, DNA replication is important. RNA processing is very important in which you have the splicing concept, 3 dash capping, 4 5 dash, like capping and tailing concept is very important. Then, 
transcription on a whole is very important then you have translation as well from translation also we get a question very easily and very repeatedly so from molecular biology it's very difficult to like pinpoint one specific thing because every year we are getting question from something or the other so make sure that you are focusing upon everything be it your uh, properties of various rna polymerases you can get a question from like this was asked in the recent year from your structure of your small nuclear ribonuclear proteins snrnps from that also we are getting questions from your dna damage various pathways related to the same like sos that is your one of the pathway base excision repair nucleotide excision repair direct repair all the questions are or all of the topics are very important right so make sure that you are not skipping the revision of these specific topics properly and you are not like you are properly focusing upon the revision format nicely right now i'll take up the remaining units the fourth and further units in the next class i'll upload more videos like every day i'm i'll be uploading one video now and you'll be able to get the entire thing sorted in your head right and also comment down below what other videos do you want to see on botany insider i'll try to help you out in the best manner possible right so let's meet in the next video i'll be uploading it very very soon and also give free practice test on our application the application downloading is free of cost so download it and make sure that you're not skipping the revision of the topics right so all the best good luck take care everyone let's meet in the